Center is located at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, also known as the Met. The Met is located in New York City and is known as the largest mu art museum in the United States and is among the most visited art museums in the world. The Man and Center are sometimes referred to as Hercules and Nessus. This art piece was estimated to have been created between the years of 715 and 730 BC. The sculpture features the man, possibly Hercules, confronting a centaur. The artist depicted the fictional animal, the centaur, as a man in the front and a horse in the back. Both the centaur and the man are wearing half and half facial hair. The hind legs differ from the legs in the front of the centaur. The front legs are more resembling of a human than the hind legs, who have the shape of a horse's legs, as if the centaur was just a regular man being with the back end of a horse and attached to its back. In much of regard, the centaurs appear in combat with humans and by implication are the opposite of civilized men. The elegant simplicity and economy of geometric art is evident in the small bronze statue that represents a man confronting a centaur. The ancient artist who created the piece depicted the pair of figures as a basic geometric form. Indeed, the man is a little more than a slightly embellished vertical line, while the centaur is assembly a rhythmic arrangement of horizontal and vertical shapes. This play of horizontal and vertical elements gives the sculpture a pleasing appearance. The man in the centaur is made out of bronze. Bronze vessels were significant original works of art made over an extended period of time in a material important to the Greeks. Bronze vessels were used as offerings, expensive gifts, reserves of currency, and valuable grave goods. Many of the bronze show first-rate craftsmanship and demonstrate mastery of symmetry and proportion. Bronze is copper and tin, which was sometimes combined with a small amount of other materials such as lead. This is the Battle of the Lapids and the Centaurs from the Temple of Zeus at Olympia. The artwork was intended to depict the wedding that the Lapids held for their king, Prethos, to Hippodamia. That was also called the Centaur Maki. During the wedding, the centaurs, not being accustomed to wine, became rowdy and attempted to take and rape all the Lapith women, including the bride Hippodamia, and began a battle that the centaurs would ultimately lose. In the center of the pediment is Apollo, depicting control and calmness over the situation that has risen. This particular depiction of the scene was built in the 5th century BCE and was on the west pediment that was on the Temple of Zeus at Olympia. It is currently located in the Archaeological Museum in Olympia and was excavated during the German excavations of 1875 led by George Triou. It is one of the best examples of early classical Greek sculpture. The architect of the entire temple was Libon, who was known for incorporating the Doric style architecture. The entire pediment that was created was made of marble. This piece of artwork was a favorite among many artists, including a young Michelangelo. They would often depict on vases and even poetry by Jose Maria de Heredia. A Lapith was a legendary people of Greek mythology who were valiant warriors and horsemen in the grasslands of Thessaly, in the Valley of the Peonies, and on the mountain Pelion. The Lapith king Peritheus was marrying the tamer of horses, Hippodamia. A centaur was depicted of a hybrid between a man's upper body and a horse's lower. Despite how they are usually depicted, they were not always this way. They were once only a deformed being who later mated with female horses. They often represented the struggle between barbarism and civilization and may specifically be a metaphor for Greece's victory over Persia in the early 5th century BCE. Interestingly enough, both the centaurs and the Lapids were said to be twins under Apollo, god of many things including music, truth, prophecy, sun and light, to name a few, and a nymph, Stilbe, the daughter of the river god Peonies, and the naid Creusa.